we learned that it's in charge, that's for sure. I mean, as far as, I mean, did we learn anything? Absolutely. And I, I think what we learned was that the events were certainly real and tangible and definitely occurring. These weren't figments of somebody's imagination or folklore or any of these sorts of things. Uh, but as for the etiology, nope. That, like Colin, we remain mystified. That's retired Army Colonel John Alexander regarding the mysterious Skinwalker Ranch. Alexander was part of a group of researchers and scientists who investigated reports of cattle mutilations and other strange occurrences on the ranch. The ranch is located southeast of Ballard, Utah, and was previously known as the Sherman Ranch. For years, stories of cattle mutilations, sightings of UFOs, orbs, and Bigfoot, among other paranormal events, have been reported on the ranch. Many of these were witnessed by the Sherman family who owned the property from 1994 to 1996. Eventually, these stories caught the interest of Robert Bigelow, at the time a successful real estate entrepreneur and currently the owner of Bigelow Aerospace, a leading commercial space company. Bigelow has had a lifelong interest in the paranormal and in 1995 established the National Institute for Discovery Sciences, otherwise known as NIDS. NIDS was made up of very credible researchers and scientists, all with the goal of investigating paranormal occurrences, but primarily UFOs. Bigelow was hoping to glean some of the technology demonstrated by UFOs to incorporate it into his dream to be involved with the space industry. In 1996, finding the claims of the Sherman family credible, Bigelow bought the Sherman Ranch sent in his team of researchers and began a scientific investigation. What the researchers found was baffling beyond their expectations. The mysterious events continued, but always seemed two steps ahead of the scientists, leaving them with many mysterious stories, but little tangible evidence. In 2005, Colm Kelleher, lead scientist for NIDS and award-winning investigative reporter George Knapp out of Las Vegas, co-authored the book Hunt for the Skinwalker, Science Confronts the Unexplained at a Remote Ranch in Utah, chronicling the Sherman family's experiences and NIDS investigation. The ranch has been dubbed the Skinwalker Ranch in reference to scary Native American legends of a shape-changing creature. As one of the lead investigators for NIDS, Alexander had an opportunity to visit the ranch and be involved with NIDS investigation. I was able to interview Alexander about his thoughts on Skinwalker Ranch and Nid's findings. A lot of people describe, especially the events that happened, are, are sort of are scary. A lot of people, when they hear about the ranch, are pretty terrified about what had happened. Did you feel terrified being on the ranch? No. But again, remember, when the ranch is discussed, you, you glom all of these events together in a very short time frame. Most of the time up there, it'd be just the same as you and I sitting in these chairs today. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what you'd feel about it. You'd be really bored, <laughs> you know, just going up and looking. Um, one of the people who was with NIDS, uh, Eric Davis, many of them will know, uh, seemed to have things that associated with him. So sort of sensitive to these issues or the phenomena was sensitive to him, so, because he heard things and sensed things that others of us didn't. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, and it appears that even though animals were affected and, uh, of course, damaged at, at times, no human was hurt. No, there was nobody injured or anything of that nature. Um, but I think there were people, you know, you're hearing some of the stories, and rightfully would be concerned. But it's very easy to spook yourself. I mean, let's understand there are psychological issues here that we fully understand. And, you know, people going out uh, at night and whatnot, you, you can talk yourself into being spooked over almost anything. Mm -hmm. Now, besides some of you being ex-military, a lot of people allude to the government getting in and meddling or taking over the ranch or some of these sort of things. Are you aware of any of that? No. I don't know why they would or uh, would have any interest. Mm -hmm. And that 
I guess, what are some of the other unusual events that really um, baffle you or that you think about often when you think about Skinwalker? Well, the one that I mentioned that I thought we have the most physical evidence for is one in which we had, again, multiple cameras, and you have cameras facing out, and if this is camera one, and it can see camera two, and then there's three and four over there. But at a certain point, the tape stops. Uh, the cameras were on top of platforms. Uh, they went up, they had PVC and connectors holding them in near the ground, and into the, so it went in underground back to the place where the recorders were. There was a huge amount of duct tape holding the wires on the way up. And we know at some point the wires were jerked loose and the camera stops recording. Um, and the, all of the duct tape on that post is gone. Not cut or down, it is gone. The PVC clamps are gone. The PVC post is just pulled back. There's a chunk cut out of the wire for about three feet that's just missing. Now, at the time that this occurred, we believe it occurred, the cattle just happened to be around that pole at that time. And yet, when you look at the camera that's staring at them, they don't move. We looked at, could you sneak up behind the, you know, the one pole out of camera range? The answer is really no. But more importantly, any time a person got close to the cattle, they'd scatter anyway and you see absolutely no reaction from them whatsoever. And yet, we absolutely know that this extensive damage took place. And, you know, freeze frame, when well, we're doing uh, frames at the second and the third between frame con running continuously. So, you know, to do all that in the second and the third is um, pr quite remarkable. You have real physical damage that was done. You know exactly when it was done. You have no idea how it could be done. And we looked at, you know, there, it came up with no theoretical probabilities of a way to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the event sounds so enigmatic that it's difficult to come up with any sort of idea of what might be going on. Do you ever speculate about what could be at play here? Well, again, I would take you back as the precognitive sentient phenomena mm. because it, that's one event. There were any number of other things equally disturbing, equally spread out over time and space, equally different in the way that the presentation took place. Mm. So you end up with the trickster. Mm -hmm. And this sentient, um, you know, intelligent, would you, would you, uh, speculate that it would be natural to Earth or, or possibly extraterrestrial in nature? I have no idea. I mean, it, 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 when you get into that, possibly almost anything is possible, but uh, we do not have any solid evidence that supports any of the theoretical possibilities. Mm -hmm. Just a genuine mystery. Yeah. It's certainly a mystery, there's no doubt about that. Those who know Alexander know he is very conservative and skeptical when it comes to the paranormal. Skinwalker Ranch continues to capture the interests of the public and the credible, credentialed investigators and scientists, such as Alexander, who have walked away from the ranch experiencing strange occurrences they cannot explain, have certainly helped add credence to the belief that whatever is happening on the Skinwalker Ranch it is beyond our current scientific understanding. For Open Minds TV, I'm Alejandro Rojas. If you have a UFO sighting or something you would like to report to Open Minds, you can go to our website at openminds.tv and click the contact button to send us your request. Or you can email us at contact at openminds.tv. You can also call us at 1-877-UFO-0110. That's 1-877-836-0110.